Although there is no hierarchy of hurt throughout our nation's history, hate crimes have disproportionately impacted the black community. Since 1995, black Americans have been victims of 66% of all racially motivated hate crimes. The numbers don't lie. Black Americans continue to find themselves at the greatest risk. This year marks 400 years since the first African slaves arrived on the shores of Jamestown in the hull of ships robbed of their freedom, culture, and humanity. Racism against black Americans is entrenched in the enslavement of our African ancestors and has manifested in our nation's institutions and policies. And despite the progress we've made as a country, black Americans are still treated as second-class citizens, disproportionately targeted for driving while black, walking while black, lunching while black, organizing while black, literally existing while black. In 2017, an FBI intelligence assessment leaked identifying quote unquote black identity extremists as a prime threat to law enforcement officers. To be clear here, the FBI was tracking peaceful protesters while advising local law enforcement agencies that these groups were a violent threat. This is the same agency that secretly spied on Dr. King and civil rights activists for their pursuit of equality for black Americans, a movement that at the time of telling the truth was vilified, and yet today we celebrate. Mr. Austin or German, yes or no, since I have limited time, do you believe that so-called black identity extremists are a significant threat to law enforcement? Yes or no? Uh, the name BIE is a made-up term that is reckless, and that is something that is simply going to continue the problems that we are seeing right now where a thousand people die at the hands of law enforcement every year. Uh, it should have never been put out. It should have never been given to state and local. It should have never been done. And I agree with that statement. Okay, so again, for the record, do you believe that so-called black identity extremists are a significant threat to law enforcement? No, I don't believe there's such a thing. Do you believe that so-called black identity extremists are a significant threat to law enforcement? No, I don't believe there's such thing. No, I don't believe there's such thing. No, I don't believe there's such thing. Thank you. Mr. German, are you aware of any data that would justify the FBI's focus on that issue or surveillance of groups like Black Lives Matter? Uh, no, not data that would justify that. I don't believe there's data that would justify that kind of surveillance. Are you aware of the agency's use of face recognition technology to survey and target groups like Black Lives Matter? Uh, I'm aware that facial recognition technology is being used in law enforcement broadly and by the FBI as well. And at a time when black Americans are three times more likely to be killed by police, a document like the FBI's intelligence assessment is not just misleading, it is reckless and dangerous. Uh, Mr. German, what do you see as the danger posed by the FBI's messaging on so-called black identity extremists? Well, if you, if you look at that intelligence assessment, it, it has a lot of information, very poorly analyzed, putting things that are not related together uh, in a way that poses a, a, a scary message to law enforcement without any advice about what to do about it. So all that they can do is be afraid. That, that black activists pose a threat to them. So when any kind of group goes out to, to engage in its First Amendment rights, the way the police are going to respond to them is as, as if they are a physical threat to law enforcement, and that can be very dangerous.